Hey everyone, Rock here. Last week, we wrapped up with the first COSO guiding principle of governance and culture. Just a quick recap, COSO has five guiding principles. Governance and culture, strategy and objective setting, performance, review and revision, information communication and reporting. This week, we'll move on to the second COSO guiding principle of strategy and objective setting. Strategy and objective setting works together within your risk management program. Organizational risk tolerance is defined and aligned to strategy. Business objectives reflect risk tolerance and strategy, therefore laying the foundation for you to be able to identify, assess, and treat risk. Aligning your cybersecurity risk management program in the same manner allows you to align cyber risk tolerance to organizational risk tolerance. This also helps your enterprise risk management group fully evaluate cyber risk in the context of the overall risk that the organization faces. The four coastal points under strategy and objective setting are analyzes business context, defines risk appetite, evaluates alternative strategies, and formulates business objectives. So let's dive right in with the first point of analyzes business context. Things change constantly. Technology changes. Internal and external factors change. I mean, COVID-19, anyone? A substitute product or service can enter the market at less cost and offer to your customers for less money, forcing your organization to pivot its strategy quickly. So in short, strategy changes. Enterprise risk management, and by extension, cyber risk management, need to keep up. As strategy and business objectives change, they should take into consideration the IT applications, networks, systems, data, etc., that are required to support current and future business objectives. Is your organization in crunch mode whose primary goal is to just survive a downturn in the market? Or is your organization in a high growth mode during a booming economy? The business objectives required to deliver on these strategies may require different technologies and information to be successful that will likely lead to new vulnerabilities. Taking that into consideration with the changing cyber threat landscape means that new and changing cyber risks will be introduced to your organization. Staying ahead of, or at least side by side, changing business objectives is much easier said than done. You've likely heard the terms shift left or security by design, where the objective is to get security involved early on in the software or systems development lifecycle. The ability to do so leads to reduce costs by fixing security issues early on in the life cycle. Since shifting left sounds like such a no brainer, but it's not, let's examine five key activities that you can use to start implementing these concepts at your organization. One, Work with project managers to ensure a cybersecurity representative is engaged at the beginning of every project. A cybersecurity champions program will help you scale to meet this demand. Early engagement provides defined security requirements and controls at the beginning of development to most effectively reduce risk. And ensure to include cybersecurity validation testing during designated phases of development. Two is awareness. Create an awareness campaign or even specialized training for developers and systems administrators around the common types of threats and vulnerabilities for the software and systems that they develop. One idea is to host a series of lunch and learns around the Open Web Application Security Project or OWASP for software developers or maybe the NIST cybersecurity framework geared more towards system administrators. Three is automation. The more you can automate security validation, the better. Try to provide near real-time feedback to the developer or system administrator, but with as much enriched context as possible. A spreadsheet with a dump from your vulnerability or code scanner is just that, a dump. Shifting left also helps you address privacy issues early. 
Privacy has increasingly become front of mind over the past several years as lawmakers have passed regulations such as GDPR out of the European Union or the California Consumer Privacy Act here stateside. And finally, five is continuous improvement. Take an inventory of the applications and systems that your organization has developed and prioritize them from a risk perspective as you may have to go back and reassess them. Keep in mind that the security posture is only good until the next code release or system update. Next week, we'll move on to the second point under the coastal guiding principle of strategy and objective setting, which is defining risk appetite. And I get a ton of questions on this. As always, I love your comments and feedback. Please leave them. And if you want to have a direct conversation, just let me know. In the meantime, have a great week.